Hey, good morning, Auburn High School. It is Monday, January 11th. Um, January is, is the month of you. And what I mean by that is, um, as most of you know, uh, we do a Troy Student of the Month every month. Well, eight out of the 10 school months. We don't do one in September and we don't do one in June, but we do it October through May. Um, and we kind of go through uh, the four letters of Troy. Uh, T is for togetherness. R is for respect, the O is for being organized, and then the Y, depending on who you talk to, um, some people say, well, it's the month of all about you, you being the student, or you belong here, you as a student belong at our school, um, and I guess even now, virtually. Um, so I would say on the you, it's both of those, so it kind of has a double meaning. But anyway, um, what January brings us is the month of Y, the letter Y of Troy, and it is the month of you. And um, it, we didn't do this on purpose, but it kind of worked out this way. Um, the Y is the last letter. It hits the fourth month, just at the end of second sem or first semester, or in this case, quarter two. And then the Y kind of hits towards the end of second semester, or in this year's case, quarter four. But what it does, it, it's given us that reminder that this really is about the kids, and it gives the kids a reminder that I got to really invest in myself. And I guess for right now, what that could mean is you're showing up, you're engaging, um, you're doing as much work um, to learn. You're not doing it for your teachers, but um, I get that when you have teachers you really connect with, you wanna do a great job for them. And then even if you have teachers you don't quite connect with, um, I want you to really think about yourself. And I really want you to think about um, investing in yourself. So kind of the things that teachers look for for the January Troy Student of the Month is, a demonstration on behalf of the students to kind of own, own this experience, this learning experience, um, a willingness to learn and not just learn, you know, um, take information in and take a test, but, but be part of the learning community. And when you're in breakout rooms, have those conversations with classmates. And, and if you're not comfortable conversing, at least internalize that information and do what you can with it. And then maybe shoot your teacher a chat message or an email, letting them know that you got it. Uh, you want uh, students who set goals for themselves, and um, right now, you know, your goal should be, unless you're sitting there right at an A, and even then you should have a goal, you want to maintain that A, and at the same time, learn as much information as you can, because that's, that's really the end game, is trying to learn and apply what we know, um, so it's going to serve us later on in life, in next year's classes, next quarter's classes. Um, we want to improve, improve on our current skill levels. Um, and knowledge and application of that knowledge. And I know there's some there's some challenges with that. And uh, especially if you're like in a lab-based class or an activity-based class or a hands-on type class. But I know your teachers learned a lot quarter one and they've been making some improvements for quarter two. Um, I mean, let's face it, it's not as good as being in the building and being in a metal shop, being in the building, you know, doing the activities with your PE teacher doing a, a really great lab that, that always has the potential of maybe blowing up in a, in a classroom setting. But your brain can be tricked. It can be taught these things without having those real live experiences, okay? <laughs> Virtual reality was around long before the pandemic. Um, so really feed your brain all the good stuff. I want you to be willing to better yourself. Um, and that could just mean, you know, some days, you might experience a little bit of failure. Uh, failure brings on more success because you learn from those situations. So what we're going to do at the end of January, teachers will be uh, going through their lists of students um, who they have for quarter two. They're going to pick one name and that person's going to be their January 2021, um, whatever class that might be, um, student of the month and then we get their name on there and we mail these out to families and students so you have a hard copy of that along with a letter that really celebrates um, this great recognition um, these are from december these were december students of the month and those are just little um, snapshots of the students that we put up on the reader board uh, this isn't what goes on the reader board it's it's like the individual one um, and it goes on there for like five seconds it scrolls through but I think it tells our community that school's still going on. And for December, we actually added two of our staff members. If you can see at the bottom, it's a little bit blurry, I get it. But that's Mrs. Lori Ball. She's our nutrition specialist. She runs all of our food services. And then the other one is Mr. Neff Shire. 
He is our teacher who's working with our transitional students. Um, so they're recognized by the entire district as, as uh, staff members of the month. I mean, of the entire district, which is pretty cool. So, so far we've had about 220 students recognized for the months of October, November, and December. Now we're into January, but I just wanted to let you know that. Um, just wanted to kind of make this a little bit of a, a call to action, really invest in yourselves. We're on those last three weeks, a quarter two, push hard. I know everything we're doing right now takes longer. It's more challenging, uh, but here's the beauty of the brain. You can decide what you input into it, and it may not remember it as much as um, just knowing the information, be able to apply it. It won't later on be able to discern if, if you learned it through virtual reality or if you learned it in a classroom setting. So um, I guess this is my way of saying take charge of your education, keep doing some of the things you're doing, keep trying to make those little improvements each day, and we'll see what comes of it. Okay, so have a great Monday, have a great week, and uh, thanks for listening.